now joined by UFC Federate Kevin Crew, and we'll take our first set of questions from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cape Side Press. Kevin, I'm disappointed. We didn't get the big nunchucks today. My man, you gotta keep it, keep it fresh. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry if I'm late to this, but I had to ask, how did you come up with the nickname, the hard-hitting hillbilly? That's my old nickname. My new nickname's Crash, so you're real late. I mean, why change it? I mean, that other one, I'm sorry, but that just stands out on a piece of paper, you know? Man, that's a mouthful. It's hard to say. I don't. I bet you don't get anybody going to hardhittinghillbilly.com. Crash is nice and smooth, man. Just comes in. Like a car crash. I know getting to the UFC is a big deal for a lot of people. Is it frustrating that you haven't gotten to have the experience of competing in front of that full arena of a UFC crowd? I don't care about any anybody else, man. I do this all to entertain me. This is all for me. So, like, yeah, the fans are cool, but, uh, I mean... Mom, nah, man, I, it still feels just as great, and the checks cash just the same, you know? Uh, just final question. How do you feel you match up with <laughs> Alex Caceres stylistically? Uh, very well. I mean, that's why I asked for the fight. Hey, thank you. Thank you. We'll take our next set of questions from Cody Cruz with ForTheWin.MMA. Am I speaking with the artist formerly known as the hard-hitting hillbilly? My man, my man, you are correct. How you doing, brother? Good to talk to you. I'm doing well. How how, how are yourself? How is I'm doing yourself? fantastic, man. I was wondering, how are you doing with the lockdown going on in Vegas right now? I mean, uh, it's not really a big deal to me. It's not like I, I can do anything anyway. I'm, I'm cutting weight and I got to fight. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'd just be chilling in the hotel anyway, probably. Well, what's the vibe like with the team right now coming up of two consecutive wins from Julia Marcus and most recently Derek Minner? Are you in the this is mine time to shine mentality right now? Uh, I mean, man, I'm, I'm all about the team for sure. I mean, you're right. Yeah, it is my time to shine. But uh, the glory takeover continue, continues, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, Julian started off really nicely and uh, Minner, Minner did a great job. And here I am to just keep this whole thing rolling. We got people fighting every week for, you know, the next few months. So the glory train continues. Absolutely. There's a lot of big fights coming on for your team. When I talked to James Krause about your fight, he told me that you were in a different mind state right now. Now, as you said it yourself yesterday, now you know, no. Can you talk about this process of realizing that you feel emotionally and skill-wise ready for the challenges that you'll face in your UFC career? Uh... I mean, yeah, like, you know, uh, you're right. I, I said it all. Uh, I've always believed. I, I always I always believed I'd be here. I always believed I could do it. I always told myself, keep going. You're, you're ready, you know. Uh, and, and now I know. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, everything that I've told myself for years when I couldn't pay the bills and all that, all that stuff, you know, like I was right. I was correct. And so now that I know, man, and, and that makes me, fucking dangerous you know so uh yeah yeah it's a good feeling to have i bet so fucking well spectacular i talked to caceres a few moments ago and he expressed something that really caught my eye he said that he didn't watch the sport like he didn't consume it on a regular basis he explained that that he didn't particularly share some of the ways the sport is portrayed these days in your own experience and words, can you share what do you think is a good portrayal of the sport and yourself as a martial artist? Uh, I mean, you know, that that's like the cool thing about this is it can be anything, man. We're, we're fist fighting in a, a closed cage, you know, like it can be anything. You can, you can play this game so many different styles. There's so many different personalities, you know? Uh, so, uh, you can make it your own and you know like i mean i i'm just gonna be me till the day i die so you know yeah i wouldn't like it any other way my man i hope you have a great great weight cut and everything goes according to plan best of luck on your fight for saturday man thank you sir i appreciate you thank you we'll take our next set of questions from zach with ufc.com so i'm gonna be asking the questions but you can still answer the camera all right all right 
Uh, so before your first part, I know it was a quick turnaround, you know, the four notice thing. So having the proper build up, proper kit for it, how has that felt different to first year taking? Uh, I mean, I, I'm in the gym every day, all of the time. So like it, it hasn't really changed anything. Uh, I mean, like I said, and I mean, I know I said this before, but like the biggest thing is now I know. And like that knowledge has changed my life. I, I know I've been right. And uh, I mean, so that it's not like I'm a different fighter, but that just I'm, I'm validated, man. Like all my hard work and all my belief is validated now. I'm, I'm you know, uh, I'm dangerous, you know, and uh, I've always been dangerous, but now, you know, it's, I fucking know. Yeah, yeah. there's definitely a different uh, level of, I guess, confirmation once you kind of know, right? So how has that changed you in terms of your approach or the way you feel in the octagon or how you feel about going about that? Uh, man, it, nothing, nothing besides that knowledge has changed, man. I'm still in the gym every day. I still listen to every word James Krause says. Um, honestly, not, nothing has changed. Uh, it, it's not broke, so don't fix it. Uh, we, we've uh, we've been putting in work like crazy, and uh, you know I, I'm ready to go out there and show it. Is it nice having to already gotten that acting about jittered out based on the way everything came together last time? Yeah, man. I mean, I, I didn't really have any octagon jitters at all. Like, uh, uh, it was pretty freaking sweet, man. Like, uh, you know, uh, I just uh, told myself a long time ago that when I made it here, that I was just going to soak up every moment. You know, I see a lot of fighters uh on their walkout, they run to the cage. They're all focused about about the win, which, I mean, it's not like I'm not focused on the win, but, man, I've waited so long to be here in this interview right now. You know, like, I'm going to enjoy every little piece of this, you know. Uh, this is my prime. This is my dream. This is what I've been living for, and I, I'm going to wrap it all up, man. Just a couple more for me. Um, obviously, like you said, you wanted the Caceres fight. You got it. Uh, he's an exciting fighter. He's had exciting fights in the UFC for a long time. What? Has impressed you the most um, from him recently? Man, man, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the guy. If he wasn't fighting me, I would be rooting him on. I, I think he's super cool. I can't wait to give him a hug after after the fight. But uh, I haven't I haven't been that uh, impressed. Uh, he looks really good in his last few fights. 100, percent man, he looks really sharp. But I don't think uh, I think he's going against subpar competition. To be honest, you know. Uh, and it's really easy to look good against subpar competition. So, uh, I mean, I'm not overlooking this guy in a bit, man. Like I said, I, I, I've been a fan of his for a while, and uh, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I, I'm ready for war 100%, but, uh, you know, I, I plan to show myself being superior. The last thing for me, is there a particular kind of statement you'd like to make in this fight, especially against the guy who's been in the UFC for so long? Yeah, I mean, uh, 100%, it took me years and years and years to get here. So uh, I plan on taking people out with names and uh, moving up moving up the rankings really quickly. I'll be a household name uh, by the end of the year, and everybody's going to know who I am, uh, plain and simple. We'll take our next set of questions from Ryan McCarthy with Low Kick on the Night. Hey, Kevin, how are you, man? I'm fantastic. How about you, buddy? I'm good, man. I'm good. Uh, you're in a tough featherweight division, man. So it's it's stacked uh, from top to bottom. Um, can we get a prediction for you for Volkanovski Ortega next month? I mean, I, I don't think I don't think anybody's beating Volkanovski besides Holloway. I mean, you know what do I know? Uh, uh, Ortega has looked good in the year off that he had for sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. For sure. And what does the um, what does an ideal 2021 look like for you, Kevin? Uh, is there a particular amount of fights you want to get in? Yeah, I want to uh, leave the year being f at least 4-0, 4-0 in the octagon. Uh, yeah. And how about after a W on Saturday? Are you getting anything, uh, a any particular food or drinks you're getting after? Oh, man, I cannot wait to get some in and out. I've been craving it so much. Double, double, animal style, animal style fries and a strawberry shake. Come on, baby. <laughs> well, best of luck, man. We'll be rooting for you on Saturday. Thank you. I appreciate you. That's all we have for you today, Kevin. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys.